This video was published on the website of the Ministry of Defense of Slovakia. It shows the process of shipping of the S-300 air defense systems to Ukraine. The systems have already arrived at their destination. This was reported by Slovak Prime Minister Edward Heger. The Slovak Republic has given the S-300 anti-aircraft defense systems to Ukraine. We believe that these systems will help save civilians and human lives from the aggression of Putin's regime. These systems are supposed to protect against the threat of missiles, aircraft and unmanned rail vehicles. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukrainians have been daily asking NATO to close the skies over Ukraine or to provide the necessary weapon for the armed forces of Ukraine to be able to repulse air strikes by themselves. The S-300 systems are made for exactly that purpose. Ukraine received infantry fighting vehicles and dozens of T-72 tanks from the Czech Republic. This delivery was coordinated with NATO allies. The Estonian government handed over a number of lethal weapons, including howitzers, anti-tank missiles and mines. Germany announced deliveries to Ukraine of Strela and portable air defense systems. As for the United Kingdom, it is probably the country that provides us with the most weapons. They gave us the Harpoon anti-ship missiles, and they gave us the next-generation manned portable air defense system, the Black Stat, which can hit, in particular, aircraft in the war zone. And hoping that the next week Congress will finish passing the Land Lease Bill and the White House will sign it, will have unlimited opportunities to supply us with weapons both in numbers and types. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken recently announced the allocation of $100 million for additional javelins and tank systems for Ukraine. Also this week the Pentagon sent 100 kamikaze drones to Ukraine. The Ukrainian military is already being trained to use them. continues to work at an unprecedented pace to help Ukraine defend itself. Last Friday, the Department of Defense announced $300 million in new security assistance. On Tuesday, I authorized an additional $100 million to meet Ukraine's urgent needs for more Javelin anti-armor systems. This will bring total U.S. security assistance to Ukraine since the beginning of Russia's invasion in February to over $1.7 billion. Canada is also providing military assistance. Ukraine receives light weapons, medicines, helmets and equipment for the military, snipers, rifles and ammunition for them. European leaders have been visiting Kyiv in recent days and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen were here a few days ago. Volodymyr Zelensky was discussing with all of them the allocation of additional military aid to Ukraine. I'd like to thank them not for the future, but for what they are doing for us at the appropriate times, for fully supporting us and our position in the war, condemning Russian aggression not only in statements, but really supporting us with weapons. Heavy weapons are the basis of what Ukraine needs today, military experts say. This is exactly what the Allies are now supplying. It should help deter the second wave of offensive that Russia is preparing now. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Husak, Halina Patrushak, UATV.